up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping into something kind of cool. Josh Blue, being disabled, has its perks. If you guys enjoy it, definitely go over it. Show Dry Bar Comedy. Some love on their channel. Let's see what we got. It's coming at us from Maurice. Much, much love. It's cool. It is a welcome step away from constant music to be seeing some documentaries and be seeing some comedy things and... So I'm all about it. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. Let's roll. This has got to be the best Make-A-Wish ever. <laughs> oh, here we go. You know, people always ask me if this bracelet is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. And I'm like, oh, does that thing work? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, man, I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> Listen, there's one thing I can super respect, and that's people who kind of take their disability and use it to their advantage. Whether that be in a humorous aspect, whether that be going out and doing some sort of sport and like killing it. Just people that don't let it get them down. If you can make, if you can use your disability and give a whole room full of people joy, to me, that's a win. This thing's been kicking some butt for me, man. Those magnetic bracelets don't work, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Actually, I better take it off soon, you know. I don't want to get too bitter. <laughs> I might mess up my gig, you know? <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna die during this. tell corny white guy jokes. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Thank you, my man. <laughs> I gotta say, this has gotta be the best make-a-wish ever. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for playing along. Really... I'm sure you can all write this off. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna write off their tickets and charity. It is fun, man. I love telling jokes. I do a lot of shows. I, uh, Travel all over this beautiful country of ours, and uh, <coughs> I've been seeing more handicap accessible stuff going in everywhere. So, yeah, it's great, really well needed. But I, I gotta tell you, as a physically disabled person, I kind of feel obligated to use that stuff. <laughs> you know how awkward that is when I'm on a date and uh, I have to use the ramp? You know. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, baby. This, uh, this, this Walgreens oh is up on a hill. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Those ramps are so long, too. So long. Oh, oh, honey, let me get the door for you. <laughs> Even as a non-disabled person, I feel like I need to hit that button. <laughs> Who says chivalry is dead, huh? <laughs> this guy literally might be my new favorite comedian of all time. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, sure glad we got cell phones. Uh, you know, we've come a long way. The flip phone was no good for me. That, uh, I missed a lot of cold calls with that one, you know? You've gotta get an oyster sucker to open it. Like, You're still better than when you had to write down your number and give it to a girl. Like, uh, okay, uh, let me get you my number. I gotta get this stack of paper here. Uh, seven, two, nine sheets later. Like, here you go, baby, don't mix them up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't mix them up. I went to New York recently and I tried to hail a taxi and I caught a pigeon. Like, oh. <laughs> that was random as hell. <laughs> Look, I could just totally see him catching a pigeon. Like, what the hell? <laughs> The whole flipping room is dying. The whole room is gonna have a heart attack. Just uh, let me know when you're ready, man. I still don't think he's ready, man. I don't want to hurt nobody. I didn't even know I had the pigeon until I was in the cab. Oh. <laughs> It, it didn't make it. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Tell me about the rabbits. <laughs> oh, Jesus, not the Lenny. Oh, tell me about the rabbits, George. Tell me about I know that uh, some of you know who I am. Yeah, but I'm also well aware that maybe this is your first time seeing me. And if that's the case, then I'm pretty sure you're confused right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe, uh, this, this, this can't be the thing, right? <laughs> It is good to be here, you know, I'm not from Salt Lake, but I look like I am. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm a comedian. <laughs> I'm gonna get a brain aneurysm. I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. I, uh, I didn't spend it wisely. <laughs> Holy shit. My so face hurts. Fun time. I've been enjoying it. Uh, somebody at my hotel ran up on me. He's like, hey, man, did I see you on TV? I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> how the hell do I know what you saw on TV? If you don't know, I don't know. <laughs> And tonight, I was coming into the show, somebody on the street, one of you guys, probably, just... <laughs> was all excited, he's like, hey, I, I came here just to see you. I'm like, well, I guess you can go home then. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> 
Minneapolis. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, we're only ten. We're only eight minutes in. I'm gonna die. I would like to mention I have cerebral palsy. Uh, I like to get that out of the way early in the show. Uh, <laughs> I do talk about it a little bit. You know, there's a few reasons I talk about it. Number one is I've come to find if I don't mention it, after a little while, the audience is like, "Does he know?" <laughs> That he has that. <laughs> Another big reason is everything I talk about comes from the perspective of a disabled person. Right? I mean, this is all that I've ever known. I guess I'll admit that early in my career, I tried to do my show from a Southern Bell point of view. <laughs> I can never get them to play quite right, you know? <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been right since Mr. <coughs> Earl left. <laughs> you guys are a fun crowd, man. <laughs> Oh, it has nothing to do with us being a fun crowd. Legitimately, this man is beyond hilarious. Beyond. Just totally not even what I was expecting. I was expecting a few laughs. I wasn't expecting to damn near die and not being able to breathe. I don't need an ab well, workout this week. Uh, definitely say there's a few people still looking at me like... <laughs> What's after this? A midget juggler? Come on. <laughs> People literally crying. Yeah, Fernando, and you're gonna love him. <laughs> yeah, he can juggle other midgets. <laughs> so if you are one, you know, uh, just be ready. <laughs> the bar might not be as dry after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking at me, that, that guy does not look dry at all, I'm telling you. It's clean comedy, you should take a shower first. <laughs> Thank you, I do, I took two showers today, I just look dirty, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Weird being me, I gotta say, you know, I was, I got a, since I live in like a dual world, like I could be walking down the street and somebody come up like, oh, can I get an autograph? I saw you on TV. And then like two steps later, like, get away from me, you drunk ass. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I ask for a dollar. <laughs> Either way, I ask for a dollar. That's right. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> you know what they say, when one door closes, <laughs> it locks behind you. So, <laughs> just gotta go to the next house. <laughs> <laughs> Use a window if you have to. A good old B and E. A lot of people don't know this about me, but for uh, many years I was a member of the U.S. Paralympic National Soccer Team. Very cool. <laughs> Where were you guys at the games? <laughs> Sure could have used those 30 claps. 
way to call them out. I know many of you maybe don't know what the Paralympics are, uh, which is unfortunate because it's the second largest sporting event on the planet. It's uh, the uh, Olympics for people with physical disabilities. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're second largest only to the um, able-bodied Olympics. <laughs> Oh yeah, it must be tough running with two legs, huh? Big points, big points. None but punks to us. <laughs> I love being on that team. It was an amazing experience traveling the world. I got to go to the 04 Paralympics in Athens, Greece. Oh. Again, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, me and my teammates didn't have to get uh, worry about getting tested for any performance-enhancing drugs. You know? <laughs> we did not represent the country well. I was... <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I was just not a good. <laughs> we didn't do good at all. It was just... Well, we were playing against teams like Brazil and Russia, like teams that have a program that they live together all year round and practice twice a day. And uh, we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we lost to Russia 11 to 1. And the one was uh, the, they scored on themselves. <laughs> They just got tired of shooting on our goalie. Just, just take some real shots. You know? <laughs> and he saved a bunch of their shots. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they're so good, man. I found out the coach don't like when you high five the other team. When they're, oh, that was awesome, man. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Some of those players though were so good, like the Russian team. I'm just on the field looking at them like, okay, well there's nothing even wrong with that guy right there. <laughs> I call BS number five, man. <laughs> Oh, they better get a neurologist out here. <laughs> then he run by, be like, "Oh man, his hands aren't backward." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got injured in uh, one of the games in the, in the Paralympics, and uh, my coach had the nerve to put me on the disabled list. <laughs> Shouldn't that somehow make me better? I don't know. <laughs> the two wrong. Two cancels itself out or something. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with my teammates. It was just cool getting to hang out with other physically disabled dudes. You know, we've all been through some of the same stuff and uh, we just got really comfortable uh, being disabled. <laughs> we got so comfortable that like on trips, uh, we came up with this game where we would see who could hold open their jacked up hand longer. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, go, go. Oh, okay. Oh. Good game, good game. Well, you, you get to hold the dead pigeon now. The pigeon came back. I knew it was going to come back.
You guys remember from earlier? <laughs> You guys remember? <laughs> I do miss uh, being on the Paralympic team. One thing I really miss is traveling with everybody. Because uh, I got to say, there's nothing more entertaining than watching 12 dudes with cerebral palsy get off an airplane in a row. <laughs> Everybody in the terminal thinks there's some type of zombie in Brazil. I'm just thinking zombies in my fucking head. Oh my god. It's the perfect amount of dark humor. I love it. He's the goalie. <laughs> None of us really walk like that, you know, we just just like messing around, you know. <laughs> See how far through customs we can get. <laughs> Last one day he loses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my whole life I've always had people uh, kind of stare at me, and uh, you know, I thought it was because of my cerebral palsy. And then I, I went to the Paralympics, and then uh, in the cafeteria, there's like 3,000 disabled people uh, trying to get lunch. And then I went in there, and everybody's staring at me. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> There's a guy over there eating with his foot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm done>. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I don't miss about being on the team is uh, our coach used to make us all dress alike. You know, represent your country. Which is great. That's awesome. I love representing our wonderful, beautiful country. But, you know, we're a bunch of crippled dudes trying not to stick out as it is, you know? <laughs> Got us all wearing the same goofy tracksuit. Like... <laughs> all I'm saying, coach, is just give us a chance. <laughs> just a chance. <laughs> We got people walking by us like, oh, that's nice. They took them to the mall. <laughs> oh, no. Some of them got stuff. <laughs> and if I say something that offends you, I really do apologize. That's not my intention. But uh, if I do, just think of it this way. I just have really well-timed Tourette's. <laughs> That's the great thing about having a disability. When you have one, you can have them all. <laughs> Nobody's gonna call you on that one, I'll tell you. Hey, Josh, you weren't blind yesterday. Oh, I'm today. <laughs> Help me cross the street. Help me cross the street. Let's see how long we can hold this hand open. Mm -hmm. You guys remember from earlier? What? <laughs> yeah, I just had this happen to me again. I was at a restaurant with a bunch of friends. No, oh my God. And the server went around the table and took everyone's order. And then when they got to me, they're like, and what will he have? <laughs> My buddy was like, I'm guessing to talk with your manager. <laughs> as he should, as he should. 
<laughs> free dinner. That's right. That's right. Free dinner it is. Now that I know that little trick, I'm walking in like a zombie in face of <laughs> For nine, oh. well, you guys are a lot of fun. Thank you oh so much. Oh my God! Absolutely intense, insane. I was not expecting to laugh that much. Jesus Christ, Josh Blue, I love you seriously. Thank you for. Giving people joy. That was just pure joy through and through. Just happy laughter about everything. Like, it's... Whew. I appreciate this request, Maurice. If you guys enjoyed it as well, definitely get over and show Dry Bar Comedy some love. Go show Josh some love on his channel. I'm going to try to find it and leave it down below as well. Hit the like button if you liked it. The dislike button, but I won't believe you. Check out the other video up there. One of these guys up here. Tell the next one how they possible. You guys be happy. I'll be safe. I'll be to the moon and back. Peace.